Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace Kid Gaming with another League of Legends ranked season 2022 game. Um, playing now for, for the second video of the row, but this is um, a few days after, so I did do Clash. Didn't particularly go well, um, but I did actually play very well. I've even got some coaching over the weekend as well, so let's hope we can put that um, into um, what I have learned. Um, we're against um, an Urgot. Um, which is who is a mid main um, might be a smurf um, by the looks of it so we may have to be a little bit careful um, so of course at the start of the season typically speaking most player players that are extremely high ranked or like you know above the typical low elo player they will start going on the smurf accounts from what I've been told around about a month or so um, after the season has begun. Um, of course, depending on what happens, like this might not even be a smoke. This could be just somebody that has recently just got another account. So, for example, after preseason has been banned, I don't know that. But they don't really play Ergot. They've got um, that. It says they are Ergot casual, so they have played games of Ergot. But they don't play Ogre consistently. Plus, also, they've only played, I think I saw, only um, six um, ga games um, since um, in the last 30 days. So, I am now going to start going over the lane. Oh, they're actually streaming their red as well. So, we know exactly where they're starting. That's that's not the typical sort of thing that you might see, I will say. So, Urgot um, is something that you don't see very often. I've always been interested in the champion. It does require some knowledge of the champion to become good at it. Um, it's not something that you just randomly pick. First blood. Oh wow, and they've already got a kill. What? What happened there? That was the Caitlyn. Miss that minion. And so one of the main things that I've learnt um, since I last played Malphite, although the basic champions, there are certain things that you do need to learn with Malphite. Um, you can actually be reasonably aggressive on Malphite um, if you know matchups very well. But like some matchups actually you don't want to be um, being quite so aggressive, or like say for example you don't want to push the wave in. Okay, so there is the Shaker who mucked up. So now we didn't have any wards down, but uh, he did start blue side by the way. So I'm going to use that just to uh, get a bit of um, wave clearance. An enemy has been slain. So I'm going to allow this to come into my tower now. There he is. I yeah, hope everybody is doing well. I'm recording this on the Monday. Um, so for those who don't know, obviously I do do sim racing as well. Um, so this coming weekend is the um, is one of the big endurance races for the year, um, which is the 24 hours of Daytona. So of course I'm going to be preparing for that. Wow, I do a lot of damage already. So this is around about the point where I want to start trying to prepare to get my ult. An ally has been slain. 
signals of uh, fair and communication, I think, in uh, bot lane. Um, mid lane, sorry. Now, Shaco is just retrieving. We should have waited a little bit later because I didn't get another mana flow band for. We did a big thing on Wild Fight early. Right. So we know he went back recently, so I'm going to lay a slightly deeper ward. Because I know where he was earlier on, around about half a minute ago. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to lay... So we now know that Shaco's on Wolves. Lee Sin could possibly go ahead and solo Dra Dragon right now. If you he, if he actually realise what I've just revealed. I'm just going to use the Q just to get that. Now I know Shaco is now on his way. So we're just thinking that to say Shaco is around the area. So, I don't have any wards on my person. I'm actually just going to back. Because he's kind of created a freeze there. This allows me to get free items. This does as well. Let's find that. We'll buy a control ward as well and start heading back. Now, I'm going to save my TP for now. Because, yeah, there you go. So, the Shaco is still there. So, you see, you see that? Now we're on Drake. We're now on Drake. Shaco is busy doing his blue, and he doesn't know that we can all see him. So, us seeing, to me seeing him in bot lane river earlier on, has allowed me to put a ward in a very overextended position, but I knew where the Shaco was, but because of that, and because of that, there you go, we've now got first strike. Yes, the Lee Sin dies to the Talon. Now, I want to get this pushed in. I do. There's a lot going on, going on in uh, mid lane right about now. Okay, so Shaco is down there, so that is good for me. I'm now going to do another one. Oh god, I've also just used TP. I'm going to put another very deep control ward on his blue. Because I know where the Shaco is, I know where the Talon is, I know where the Urgot is. And bot lane should never be coming up to the top side at this stage in the game. So, I've actually got a good amount of top lane control. We'll just get away from that. And so that's the first primary engage. I'm 20 far behind, but not such a bad thing. Because Malphite is a good harassment champion. Plus also he can actually bring over some very good lane dominance. So we want to deny, try and deny as much farm as we possibly can um, from the Urgot if we can. Shut down. An ally has been slain. There you go. Like, he's actually now quite low on health. He's now being forced to use potions at a time when he wouldn't w wish to use it. So, Ergot's missing. He's probably going back. He has just recently TP'd. Maybe he's still in lane. Now, 
Right, where is the Jaco, I wonder? Lux is rotating the mid. It does say on her profile that she does rank quite a lot. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. I haven't seen Ergo for a little while. But... Right. That's actually pretty good. We'll get pleated steel caps in a minute. Once we do back. Then shove in this one last wave. Oh, there's Shaco. Okay, Shaco. Now, I've already seen where Shaco is, so I'm going to bat now. So, he's going to do one of two things. And Ergot has just put a control ward there. So, Shut he down. wants Shaco to gank for him. I'm not even going to allow that because I am already backing. I will, however, CP back to lane because the lane is a bit pushed in. In. I'd like Lee Sin to be able to try and, and take the Herald. Drake is up though. Oh, Lapsy is literally on no health. Right, let's back up a little bit because we don't know. Wait, so good, right? This is second. Oh, there he is. Now, I know there is a Shaco box around where my tower is. They want me to walk into it. So, yeah, and there you go. We got second Drake because Shaco was in top lane. So we're being very effective, although we're not actually doing anything in lane. We're actually being very highly effective. I don't get the assist, but that's fine by me. Because all I want to do really prioritively is just back up. So yeah, very controlling performance so far. Uh, nothing major. But we've managed to control everything quite well. We have so far. Um, so, what's the game state right now? Um, so, all f every other lane. I've just noticed. Lee Sin's got Glacial Augman, which I believe is a mistake, possibly. I wonder what he played in his last game. I wonder if maybe that was a Lee Sin, maybe. Um, that was possibly a Senna game. Because they've also got a stopwatch. No, that might. Hmm. That's a bit of an interesting one, there. That is. So we'll put a control board in there. An enemy has been 
Okay, we're not quite there just yet. And then Urgot has got press the attack. So Buck also is actually now built Titan Fiber. Okay, the Shaker actually managed to get the kill on the loose end. He's done Dark Harvest, but he's actually going AD Shaker. Okay, we've got our first five gauntlet, which is great. Next, we will go for Miles, which will be very, very good against an Urgot. Now, the argument could have been that I could have gone Bramble vs Rush and then got my first five gauntlet, but I, I felt that I was in a position where, yes, there are two AD champions. Um, well, you had a full AD champion um, comp, obviously minus the Lilia. Getting stuck on minions. So at this point, the Urgot, if they want to start doing stuff, they do need to start getting involved with their with their team, which then leaves me up in top lane. So I do kind of wonder what the Urgot will actually do. Just not to down a couple more pegs. Just do that. Yeah, we should prioritise that really. But if we deal with this quick enough, then that's brilliant. No, he, he should stay on Drake right now. Because that's a bigger objective. We've got the first two strokes for now. That's also, this could be a distraction. The Shaco could be thinking, right, they're doing... Yep. Okay, that was the fight. Oh, that is really good from the Nautilus. I don't mind taking that death whatsoever. We ended up getting three kills in that. We did as well. Um, we did unfortunately lose the Drake from that. But we have got Rift Herald, which is great. So. Let's see, oh, we've got mid lane um, tier 1 tower gone, and then they've got my top tier tower, but I can use Herald on um, tier 1 myself. Or I could actually, no, we don't even need to push it into uh, the tier 2 mid lane tower. That's quite funny. <laughs> Just to deny him. And now we're just now they're gonna go on to the counter effect. Now we'll just um, take this wave down a bit.
Oh, I don't have uh, TP. I thought I actually had TP up, which was part of the reason why I came down to here. But I can still get to tier one. The uh, tier one tower, though. Shut That's kind of my bad, though. Enemy triple kill. Wow, how does Shaco get a triple kill? Okay, I am going to just push this wavering real quick. And hopefully that might be able to get another strike. Yeah, that does as well, so that's good. So, we've delivered a good amount of uh, turret pressure. The unfortunate thing, I didn't group my team when I didn't have TP up. That's the one downside to what I've just done. So, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Like, look at how low that tier two tower is now in mid lane, um, in top lane. Sorry, like we've delivered a lot of pressure around the map now. So, I do feel in the long term it was a good decision, but in the short term, possibly not. Okay, that was a bit overkill. <laughs> we take out the Shaco and we also take out the Erg. Or oh, actually, no, we didn't take out the, the Shaco. I thought we did. That was just the clone. But that is their main front line. That is as well. That's the real one. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that Shaco can do. That, that's fine. I'm just a distraction. That's all I am. So, I am literally just going to go full on armor. I am, by the way. Uh, the Lilia, to me, won't really do anything. To be completely honest with you. And she's not even had a good game. You know, no means to disrespect um, the player. But, you know, me dying there and then getting the Shaco killed is fine. So, the team is going to split up a little bit. I should probably go towards to where the Lax is. Um, actually. Okay, so here's my plan. I'll go towards the Baron. Okay, so now the Lax should start backing up. Yeah. The, the Lax shouldn't have been there. Really, but... But y'all about to get the Baron. So, there you go. Now, they might be about to get this next um, dragon as well, possibly. Yep, they did as well. Yep, I just saw that. That's... That, to me, is the fate. Yeah, that, that I believe, was the fake um, one. So I'm just going to push this out a little bit. And then we'll go to a side lane. I'm going to go towards top side, I think. Ooh, hi, Talon. Yeah, it's a good idea for the Lux to get the blue. I can get the blue from this side of the map. <laughs> you just used ghosts. Just to get away from me, by the way. <laughs> and the talons are in top side, and now we're starting a team fight. 
I'm gonna actually TP up there. Oh, <laughs> that was a little bit overkill again. But I think we're at a stage where we can actually now finish the game now. At this point, if I'm entirely honest. Okay. Yep, there you go. I think somebody ended up actually um, leaving the game as well. I believe it was the Lily because I haven't seen her in a while. So, But if you do like the game, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. It does. But the first game of the day as well. I don't often win first games of the day. I'm going to be honest. But, you know... A lot of good play from everybody in the team. All I had to do was just play smart for the majority of it. I knew my time would come where it was basically... As long as I didn't do too much to um to the ergot uh, of where basically I was ending up dead. You know, the team can basically just um, take this game out of control. But yeah, like that was just a typical Malphite game where... You know, the opposing laner can definitely kill you despite being a tank. But all you have to do is just play smart. And that's one of the best things about Marfite. If you're a smart player, you will do well. You will. And just to remind you, I did um, receive some coaching recently. And that did help. You know, I'm going to be completely 100% honest right here and now. It helped out a lot. You know, and as you can see in that game, I'm playing a lot more effectively. You could even see I was even going forward a monster wave to basically deny XP from the Urgot. Not a great amount because obviously he can shred tanks. He can as Urgot. But obviously Urgot does need to be careful himself in case he was getting ganked. But the Lee Sin did the right thing. Um, I do question the Lee Sin going Zonyas, to be honest, but... I like the thinking of it. It still gives him armor. It doesn't really scale with AP, but it does give him ability haste. So although he's not doing the whole complete thing, um, there is some use of it. So, like, um, there was a couple of things that obviously I saw from the leasing that I thought, you know, if I'd noticed it at first, I was thinking that's a mistake. But actually, it's not so bad if you use it effectively. Um, but yeah, this was kind of a free game, I think, in the most part. But anyway, um, we went 3, 2, 5, we gained 22 LP, so we're now bronze 485 LP. Again, A minus, by the way, as well, which is a pretty good um, game, I would say, for something that was not too effective. And you can even see, like, obviously we are a tank, we're not meant to deal damage, but we still do more damage than the Urgot. We do. So I would say, beating my lane opponent, because I'm not dying, the Urgot isn't much farm ahead of me, and towards the late game, um, the later stages of the game, I'm I'm still useful. I got starting to fall off, so that that was the reason why. You know, sometimes just play smart. You don't have to be. Oh, I want to get two kills in ten minutes. You know, if you can do that, then brilliant. But don't do it if it means that it's going to be a bit of an iffy spot in case you get killed trying to get a kill. You know, it's all about being smart. Yeah. But if you do like the video, don't forget to give it a like. And also subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. And also, I do hope you are enjoying the content as well. Um, I am possibly looking to do an eye racing video during this week as well. Because we are doing the 24 hours of Daytona this coming weekend. So look out for that as well. If you are itching for that little bit of sim racing content as well during later on during the week. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.